Hi everybody, this is Ben Sturbaugh with Dr. J. Hartley at Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about scoliosis pain and exercises. So Dr. J, is it true that scoliosis causes back pain? Scoliosis can definitely contribute to back pain. And um, there's been studies that have shown that the larger your curve, the more likely you are to have symptoms. And remember that as a child, there's no such thing as growing pain. So if your child is complaining of back pain, that is not normal. You want to find out what the cause of that is. Um, where does this pain come from? Well, we can have mechanical tension on the spinal cord itself. We can have muscles that are overworked. So as the curve gets larger, muscles are going to be longer on one side and they're going to be working harder and they can build up toxins. And then we can also have direct nerve pressure that can also cause pain. Um, can the severity of the pain vary? Sure. Um, I would say that scoliosis patients are more likely to have more of a dull chronic pain than a sharp pain, but they may have a, a dull chronic pain and also occasional sharp pains. How can uh, exercise help with, with scoliosis pain? Are there specific exercises that we need to do to, to reduce this? Sure. Some scoliosis patients will tell us that they feel better with exercise, but that does not necessarily mean those are the best exercises for them. Okay. Um, so we really utilize the x-ray to determine what exercises are best for each individual patient, and the exercises are very specific to correct the spine. And we're gonna talk about that in another video where we'll actually demonstrate with Ben how his um, C2 spinous rotation is corrected with a specific exercise. Yeah. Um, how do the effects of exercise compare to bracing or surgery for scoliosis? Well, it's completely different because we're increasing the function of the body. So it's all about function. So we're getting the body to make the correction where with bracing, you're, it's really a, a super stabilization. Now, when we talk about bracing, it's important to know that there's different types of bracing. Standard medical bracing, or the Boston brace, is more of a two-dimensional correction where it's called three-point bracing. So you're pushing here, here, and here. So above the curve, below the curve, and then straight into the curve. And then the idea is that that pressure may make a slight reduction, but it's really there not to make the curve worse, okay? And then there's a three-dimensional brace. The one we use is called Scully brace. And we do a 3D structural hologram of the body. And then the brace is created from that. So it's correcting rib arch, spinal rotation, cervical or uh, lumbar lordosis, thoracic kyphosis, all at the same time. The, also, one of the differences is with the Scully brace is you want to be active in it. It allows your spine to move in the direction of the correction, but not in the direction that makes it worse. So you actually want to be active in it. So we give the patients exercises to do in the brace, and we want them to be very active in the brace. Surgery is going to limit mobility, and any area away from the surgery site is going to be much more susceptible to misalignments there are causing more problems because you've taken 24 movable segments and now you may have the seven movable segments in the cervical spine, you may have L5, you may have the sacrum, you may have the ilium, and so you've reduced 30 movable segments to now about 10 movable segments. And so if any one of those segments are out of alignment, it can have a much bigger influence on the patient. So can any, um, can any person with scoliosis safely practice sports and activities that they want, or is there some limitation? Yeah, we encourage the patients to be active, and one of the reasons people come into the office is they want to be able to do all these, all act, uh, these activities, and we encourage it. Now, we encourage it with them following our exercises. So some of the exercises may be more likely to make scoliosis worse. So we know that rhythmic gymnastics, ballet, volleyball, competitive swimming, they've done studies that they've shown that those exercises actually can make scoliosis progress. So what they did was they looked at 
people with scoliosis, these are adolescents, they divided them up into groups on which exercise they did. The ones that did those exercises that I just mentioned, that, which mainly hyperextend the middle back, that's going to cause that scoliosis to get worse. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This was Ben Sturgo with Dr. Jay Hartley at Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center. Uh, for more information, visit drjhartley.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks, Ben. And remember, go out and make yourself a great day.